Hack the Brain is a three-day hackathon event taking place in Amsterdam and Montreal simultaneously and bringing together artists, designers, scientists and developers. They're trying to find ways to use open source hardware and software to try to imagine new ways to explore the mind. This group is trying to detect the state of mind of one participant and translate it into different coloured lighting. You lie down on the bed, you start uh, breathing more slowly, more, uh, more consciously, and the light in the room will change from orange to green to blue to deep purple, and then you, you are able to fall asleep because you have been able to control your brain waves and bring them into a much more relaxed uh, mode. Sensors connected to a computer are used to detect and gauge brain waves. In the days of Rembrandt, uh, we explored the body, the mechanical workings of all our limbs, and now we can explore the mind. Of course, a human mind is different than a computer, but we now use computers and all kinds of technological artifacts in order to find out what's in there. The challenge for this group is to read emotions, a very demanding task according to the neuroscientists present at the hackathon. The ball is really a very, very physical stimulus for the person. So you go inside and there are two holes, so you already leave a little bit of your human being uh, outside because you have to really go in there. So it's more a poetic approach perhaps and it's more about surprising the brain or surprising the test person and really getting the test person out of the normal state of mind. Meanwhile in Montreal the experiment has a transatlantic dimension attempting to relay signals from one person's brain to another's arm. So when I'm going to close my eyes and relax, my brain is going to produce an, an activity and it will be sent to a muscle stimulation. My, my arm will lift alone. Um, we'll do that to stimulate someone else in Amsterdam later on. One person's brain controlling the actions of another's arm across the ocean. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but those involved insist it could have important applications in the real world. For example, in sports or as a, as a surgeon, you know, uh, uh, you can learn how to move uh, by running a program on your body from somebody else's brain. So, that's a, for example, you have somebody who's really good at making a painting, then if you want to learn that from that person, then you can basically plug his brain uh, and connect it to your body and then uh, learn from the actual movements. Yes.